Sancho John Madden and Soriana Supermercado. Great stores all through Mexico. They're a little bit like a Walmart. They have everything, everything, everything. But good selection of groceries, a good price. They even sell motor scooters. This is a little note about not wasting time. No, that's it. Not wasting time. Finding ways to use your time. I just spent, I think, 40 minutes with them fussing with their system to get me my money gram, which I've struck out at OXO and struck out at Copel. Both those places, their systems were down. It wasn't that their system was down. It was that my passport has John Michael and their system only allowed to use John. I couldn't figure out why they couldn't make that work, but I said to them, muchas gracias por tan tiempo. They spent so much time. And usted está muy inteligente, pero su sistema es estupido. And that went off real fine. But meanwhile, 40 minutes, uh, there's no music playing now, but in this store, which usually plays cumbia, which is fabulous Latino dance music, and I've got a video of me going, cumbia, cumbia, like they always yell while they're doing cumbia dances. Not dance to that, but today they had American rock and roll. A lot of it very hard edge, uh, but then they, that's the supervisor who helped a lot. So often the supervisor has to get involved. Uh, but then they, boy, when they hit Huey Lewis and the news, the power of love. So what I do is I make my dancing as minimal as possible. I try to disguise it so people can't see it. When I was learning Tai Chi about 30 years ago, I learned to do all 46 movements in that kata or whatever in a post office line without people noticing, just do it so minimal. And so I'll do it just with my feet, just with my hips. And as time went on, I got a little more bold with my movements and I was up and down <laughs> the mostra door. I think they call that table a mostra door. So I kept myself busy and, and big time watching all the wonderful people in Mexico. I observed again that uh, this lady is probably indigenous, but they wear really very formal dresses. And so there's a 40-ish uh, indigenous lady who I admire. <laughs> They're so awesome. But she was a gum chewer. Gum chewer. Early in my life, that was a big prejudice of mine. I didn't like girls to chew, chew gum. So it's great. The contradictions between the old and the new in Mexico. They, I understand that they mostly don't live in Orizaba. They come in out of the mountains. They've got their mountain communities, which I think this town was originally all indigenous. But now you find more indigenous people on the street than any place else I've been. And uh, I really would like to get out to those little mountain towns and see what those are like. But I was not bored. I, had, I kept myself a happy camper for 40 minutes.